Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will cover a very popular topic, which is ERC20 token. So first of all, we should know what are these tokens and how can we use them. So ERC20 token, like it is basically a standard created, created by Ethereum. So where we can create our own assets, own tokens, we can say. Uh, so we can like, for example, there are many, many popular tokens like out in a market, which are like USDT, the ERC20 token, which is very popular among all the blockchain application and other are Binance token, DAI token and many of others token are like very popular among the blockchain community. So similarly, we can create our own token too with a simple and basic smart contract. So in this video, I will show you like how can we do that if we talk about development side. So without wasting further time, let's deep dive into the technical part. So first of all, to write the contract, we need to learn solidity language, the language called solidity. So, and we need an editor, which is where we can like write our smart contract code. So let's move to the editor part. So for the solidity code, you don't need a software to download or something like that. You can just directly go to a website, which is remix.ethereum.org. You can just go to this website. This is an editor and let it open okay so you can see the contract here where i can create my contract file just like other other editors code just like uh, vs code for example so here we can i can create a new file so let's name it new token dot solidity for solidity you need to like use the extension dot soil so okay so for writing contract i need a solidity version so Personally, I uh, I know and I use uh, syntax of uh, Prague Solidity 0.5.0. So let's move to that. Point 0.5.0. Okay. So to write a contract, we need to write contract keyword here. New token. Okay, so first of all, I need a constructor where I can like pass the initial parameters of a token, which are constructor. So first parameter is total supply. So how many tokens do you want to create initially? You can just like write a function to edit that number later. For initially, initially you need to give a number. Uh, it can be zero, it can be in millions or billions, whatever you want. So to denoting numbers, I need a to write 2 in 256 because it would be a big value total sorry total supply another second variable is token name you need to give a name to your token so it could be a string memory token name third one is your token symbol to denote your particular token string memory token symbol and uh, last one is decimals. So decimal is basically like in how many parts your token can be divided. It's like, uh, like for example, you can divide a rupee into pesa. You can divide a one rupee into hundred pesa. This is the smallest unit. You can divide that one rupee. So similarly, you can uh, took decimals. So like if you took a decimal, let's say five. So your, your token can be divided into 10 to the power five. So let's take yo int and decimals. Uh, the visibility of this constructor would be public. All. So let's create four variables to denote these parameters globally. So it is u in 256 underscore total supply. Next one is a string token name. Next one is string token symbol and next one is uint decimals underscore decimals so i have put underscore in, in the initial of the variable name to denote the, these global variables and to take the constructor parameter i have used underscore at the end of the variable name so let's assign these parameter to the respective global variables it is total supply token name Symbol and 
decimals. So initially, all these all the numbers that you have you are creating uh, would be go to admin account. Admin means whoever whoever deployed this contract on the blockchain. So I need to create a mapping of address to a number. It is let's say balance underscore balance of okay so this variable will contain a balance of each address of your token of your particular token so let's initially let's assign all the balance to the admin whoever would be deploy this contract so balance of message dot sender would be used to fetch the caller account so whoever is call this construct message dot sender would return that value so initially when I, when i deploy this contract my address would go to this variable and all the tokens would be meant to my account so let's the total supply okay so there are four methods we actually like basic four methods we need to write to create our very basic erc20 token or oh, there can be more methods which can be added which we can add in our contract so first of all let's say to create four methods to return these values so first is function total supply it would be a public method anyone can call it view it means it is not modifying the state of block entry it's a read only method view it will return a given 256 type value so return underscore total supply okay next is function token name it will be a public view it data size string we need memory keyword to be a database string if you are taking no argument and return token name from here underscore token name same for token symbol function sorry function token symbol public view returns it will return also a string right memory and return token symbol from underscore token symbol. last one is for decimal function decimals public view it will return a u int type value u int and return underscore decimals from here right so these are the very basic four messages to like return these four variables one variable is left which is balance of so we need to write a another method here i forgot it earlier function balance of to get a balance of a particular user it will take an argument which is of address type address underscore address it would be a public method it would be a it would return u in two five six type value oh my God. okay return balance of underscore balance of it would take underscore address okay let's select so this is the there are four tabs of this uh, ethereum remix editor one one is first one is file uh, directory structure you can create as many as file you want in the this tab you can select the compiler version it should be same whatever you have written here so i have uh, write the code according to the 0 0.5.0 syntax so i need to select the same compiler from here and to scroll down 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 5.4 no 5.0 yeah so i select the same compiler version now compile this token or is it showing some error function statement to view okay i should also write view here now this is successfully compiled if it is not throwing any error okay so now the this this tab is for the deployment part if we, i need to deploy this contract on a particular blockchain so i will go to this tab so this is a very important part is here we need to select injected web 3 here just to like 
deploy this contract on Ethereum. So I have already installed MetaMask to like connect and communicate with Ethereum blockchain. So I would not select Ethereum mainnet because it will cost me actual money. So I am selecting a test network where we can like test our development part before going to the live or main blockchain. So I have already selected this network and I already have 12.43 ethers in my account just on a test network. You can also create your account on MetaMask and you can just request some ether from Faucet. You will easily get that if you connect around click on buy button, right? So, okay. So I have, let me select Web3 from here. Injected Web3, okay. So my, my address is like ended with EA43. The same address is visible here. EA43, okay. So that's cool. So before going to deployment, let me describe uh, another point here. So while deployment, all the arguments that we have written constructed, we need to give them as an input at the time of deployment. So I need to give total supply, token name, token symbol, a decimal here. So let me give my token a name, I just uh, test token, I should say. Symbol would be test. Decimal, uh, the standard is, on Ethereum is 18. Uh, however, you can like choose as many as, as many as decimal you want. So let me choose 18 here. Okay, or I can choose zero, I can choose one, whatever you want. Let's do zero. Okay. Token supply, let's create 100 token. When I click transact, it will automatically uh, open this MetaMask extension on my uh, Chrome browser, which is already added in my account. It is going to Robston Test Network. It will cost me some like gas fees. Okay, so let's deploy it. It will take few seconds to de for deployment. This transaction is pending state. So okay, my uh, contract is deployed on the Ethereum mainnet, Ethereum uh, testnet, Robston, or, uh, I should say. So let's view it on Robston uh, Explorer. So this transaction is success. Okay. All right. So when the contract is successfully deployed on the Robston network, uh, this editor remix will show our contract here too which we just deployed. So this will provide a, this will provide us a address of the contract that is just deployed. So let's copy it from here and let's check it out on, on Explorer, Robston Explorer. All right. Okay. So you can say it is a contract. The address is this. Balance is zero ether. Is, this address didn't contain any ethers. Okay. Creator is mine address. Okay. This is the transaction as. All right. So in the previous part of the video, I just uh, like just check my video is showing here. Uh, I believe you didn't miss anything because of my like FaceTime video. So let me describe it again uh, a little bit. So I have write the contract code. I have like deployed it from this tab, the deployment tab. I have like give these parameters, total supply, token name, token symbol, and decimal as these values. And I have clicked transact, MetaMask window will open. I have signed the transaction and this my deployed contract is visible here. So all the matter that I have written is visible here. You can check balance of which need an address type argument, decimal, token name, token symbol, and total supply. Uh, if you click on these buttons, you can get the decimals that we have put in this variable, decimal, and all other like token symbol is test token, token name is test, total supply is 100 token, okay. So let's view these token that I have added to my address uh, because I have deployed this contract. I am the admin of this contract. So let's copy the address from this tab and go to MetaMask. You can view all the assets that your address contain on the MetaMask itself. So if you go to assets tab, you can see a button import token. So let's import it from here. Paste the token address or the contract address here. Okay, it is not showing token symbol. I don't know why. Test token, okay. Let's put it here. Token decimal is zero. Add custom token. If I click on import, it will import this token too. So 100 test token, my address is contained. So my address contain 12.4 ethers and 100 test token. You can create as many as token as you want for the practice purpose or development purpose. So this is the very basic example of the, how you can create assets in using ERC20 standards. There are many more uh, 
methods that you should write if you are creating an actual ERC20 token which is called one is called transfer method which we use to transfer tokens from one address to another address and many more methods like allowance is there and you should uh, you can use safe library as suggested by open Zeppelin standard so and many more logics you can apply according to your requirement and this video here so guys if you like this video as you know this is the very first video on my channel uh, if you like it comment down your uh, feedback any uh, thing you wanna like you want me to improve or you like about my video just comment it down i would be very happy to reply to it thanks you very much for watching this video